Oh, Melody, welcome. Oh, wherever you want. Good to see you. There's a chair right there. Is it okay? Is it me sitting there? No, come over. You don't have to move. I can put my stuff on the floor. Oh, no. We will not put your stuff on the floor. We're working on better furnishings and arrangements, but we're not there yet. Hi, Ellen MD. Hi. It's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, you know Caroline. and. This is Celia. Celia is a friend of the committee, and she's our wonderful secretary. <laughs> she's now, she's everything. Yeah. Yeah. She applies for grants, and she orders t shirts, and uh -huh. she pulls in a lot she of them. And this yeah. is Lori Hess, and she uh -huh. works at the school, so she's our. I'm a parent, I think it's yeah. oh, She's director of facility. <laughs> she's <laughs> HR. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Dee keeps track of all the I registrations and the payments and makes awesome agendas and keeps everybody, I think, CFO. overall organized. <laughs> yes. CFO. I have to tell you, your name is spelled wrong on <laughs> the S on the SAU website. I get that a lot. Yep, yep. And I, I actually, when I signed my contract for next year, I circled because they write you, and it says it's spelled wrong, so I circle it twice, and then I get it back and. It's actually funny because um, the principal now at Maplewood, he hired me because I what think that was my open? fault two years ago, but so it's not my fault anymore, right? I'm, like, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to write okay. controls. No, I only looked because the principal at Rollinsburg worked in Idlehurst. Oh, great. So we didn't know where you had worked, so I was looking to, to tell him your name. And I think I'm like, okay, I don't know, our stuff has melody that still has melody. Well, maybe she'll fix it now because I had the courage to circle mm. when I put the contract back. I never did that before. I just like let it go. I was like, uh, after a couple of years, I, I can do that. Now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm, what was I just write your checks in the right place? Exactly. <laughs> so is it <laughs> well, the way it's spelled Long here is correct? It's L yes. M -E -L -O -N -Y, right? yes. Melanie. Right? Yes. Melanie. Yes. Okay. I'm going to fix it. That's D. E. D. <laughs> I get everything. Maloney Kent, Melody, Melody, so I'm like, whatever. Well, welcome. There are no minutes um, because I've been busy ordering t shirts and grants. <laughs> <laughs> so, not allowed, Celia. Right, well, Kelly, since we don't have any minutes, we can go right into um, the staff and do we need to go on. into non public or do you want to remain in public session? Do we have anything made specific, right? It's all just generalized staffing info, unless you have something. Um, if we, I mean, if we're at I'm asking you who hasn't signed a contract, does it matter if it's on the, or who you haven't received contract info mm -hmm. from? Does that matter if that's on I, I don't. I don't think that's disparaging or otherwise. Okay. Because that's, okay. So, um, well, you would probably be the one to tell me that. I don't even, I, don't, I guess I don't know who hasn't turned in their offer letters. <laughs> uh, Sharon, I'm not remembering what Simmons is. It Simmons? Snyder. Snyder, okay. Yeah. I knew it was something else. Um, I'm waiting on hers, bright and early. Brighton is the better? Um, mm -hmm. Kara. Oh, Kara. Um, I, I think there's another one, at least another one. Wow. Well, um, you read the CPI, right, Melanie? Yep. So, in my understanding, there was um, Brighton was there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I've got her, I've got Sam, Patty. So you have, you have Sam. Have That's Sam. good, we have our top two. Uh, Patty, <laughs> and I have Jordan Wall. Jordan. Yeah. Um, and, um, wait, did you say Sam? You have Sam? I have your offer letter, but actually it's coming in on Thursday. And Sam the Mitchell, there's two no, Sam. No, um, um, Mestieri. Is, Mestieri is coming in on Thursday. Okay. Um, Mitchell. I, I think I have the paperwork, the, the letter back, but um, hasn't contacted me about um, paperwork. Paperwork, but he's returning, so I just need a W-4. Um, so that's a less, you know, that's not as big as new people. The new people. Yeah, well, because he said he was definitely coming to um, So Kara and Brighton are both returning. Right, so just a W-4, and they can just print it at home and bring it in. 
And then if they want to ask me for a direct deposit form, if they want a direct deposit. But those direct are also letters, the offer letters that you have not received. Right, I need those. That I need. But otherwise. Shannon, no. She's being a little, um, I mean, oh, go ahead. Yeah, uh, un uncommunicative a little bit. So I did not know that she was not coming to CPR. So we might have a, a concern about that. Um, I'm not sure when her stuff expires. And I'm not sure if we have another, um, it, I mean, I think she said June of 2019. So I don't know if we had a second. Did they talk about that, by the way? At um, they, they, thought, they, they just thought more people were coming and they asked me to, you know, reach out and end up being just a you know, fire department. Right. So it was fine, but um, they yeah, sent them out to. The fire chief said something about it. Like they they seemed working. very uh, open to it. I mean, they would help us out. I mean, the most that we were going to have was eight, because we, um, Patty, Sam, M, and um, Kara are all good. So we had three that were good. So you might go into non-public if you feel like you need to talk about what you're going to do with those three people who didn't go on Saturday. Okay. Motion. <laughs> Celia <laughs> makes a motion to go into non public book for personnel reasons. Okay. Yes. And then we have to do a roll call. Everybody has to say yes. Yes. Yes, Kelly. Well, you seconded it, so I don't think you have to yes. No, we all have to go around. Oh, yes, you all do. Yes. And are we asking these two to stay? Or we publish it? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. I'm trying to get the thing to show. CPR, CPR to AED. AED. But it also covers children relief as well. Okay, so that would be uh, that would be the Jordan. Do we know what time we're going to be? Okay. I would say what's up. You said that's at Wentworth Douglas, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know what the cost is? The only issue is if you don't have the first date, you just can't pay the So you didn't have it. You have to send your meeting student to you. So I can Which means that everybody has to know what everybody else's certifications are so that if somebody's got an issue, you don't hear from you. And you're not going to think something you don't have. Okay, so, so knowledge of who's not certified. Certification status for everybody, everybody knowing what everybody's certification status is, and, and going over protocol about how to deal with a situation that you're not certified in. It doesn't yes. have a presence. Yes. You know, I know. But but once you go down that road, you go down that road, you know. Holy moly. Well, they should have been on Saturday. Yeah, they and protocols need to be followed. Right? Do you want the phone number to call? I just go back to. Do you want the phone number sure. to call? Sure. 603 740 2858. And then you can get those people. Yep. That's awesome. Thank you, Laura. 740 2858. Yes. Okay. A little fuzzy tonight. So just. <laughs> I need to make a trip to the bathroom. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does that happen to you, Cindy? Okay. Okay, so how are we now with, um, oh. so are we good with? So besides that, well, we have several letters that haven't been signed, which makes me a little bit nervous, but. Um, you could just send out a, a reminder, reminder. Like, like a BCC, like email yourself and BCC those, all those people who have it and say, give them a deadline and say, we really need to know, you know, get your act together and, and also email me instead of ten people. I sent out that notes too, did you see that? Mm -mm. Yeah, so we've said it a few times now. Which is highly, I mean, I know you're dealing with teenagers, but you either want the job or you don't, you know? And mm -hmm. All right, so as of, as of right now, we have 
Um, so eight, well, if, if it all stands, eight counselors mm -hmm. and assistant director and director. So with our numbers right now. Mm -hmm. So we have new numbers. Um, so, well, actually, I just got four paper registrations that need to go in. And I haven't even looked at them, so I don't know. And I have not completed my so that's good. So you're at Camp Raleigh, right? <laughs> yes. So with that said, so Camp Raleigh would now be 74 kids, not including what I have there. And be registered for anything. I registered and this registered, morning. So. And we have 12 teams. Nice. Yeah, again, not included there. So here is, you guys can have this. This should break down a team as of, that was today at 2 o'clock, okay? Are my kids on there? <laughs> should be. Uh, yeah, let's see two Andersons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Can I see that? And it tells you your breakdown of the weeks. Do you want that? Even though you're sure. Okay, you might have to take it. Here, you want that, Lauren? I wake have it. one for you. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. So that's your weeks, so you know who's coming and who's going what weeks. The t shirt sizes, which I know you needed. Um, no. What is the ratio for our group? For kids? For kids? Well, now I think this is, that. so this is really yeah. funny though. So as we look on here, the, the person that wanted to sign up their child that we had a meeting about is <laughs> not even on here. Did anybody contact her that she could be? I did. Oh. Yeah, and she said, thank you so much. We will be doing that. Well, we've extended the deadline, so. I think that's acceptable. I can ask her tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so that's Tina. So you guys are good there. So as of right now, we don't need we don't need a counselor for Tina. We're all set with one person. Tina is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, right? No, no Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday Friday. Wednesday, Friday. So it's just Wednesday. Except for one week, which is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, but that's before the July. July. That's the 4th of July. Yeah, so week. that doesn't affect us. So, um, and actually there's another person on here that, um, did you get back to the gentleman who emailed us? Ugh. Yes, he's actually the last person on this list right there. Oh, he, um, he emailed me too quite a few times <laughs> and stopped in. <laughs> and but, hey, but yeah, did, he, did he pay the whole thing? No, he paid. 40. So, oh, yeah, I emailed him today though. So he's emailing you too? Yeah, so is it is separate? Uh huh. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> so I did email him and I, and I will talk to you because he sent me his receipt as well that I get here from the town. No, no, it's not no, you. It's, it's your other team. person. So I replied back and told him. But did he do it? He did regular phone question. I don't even know. We need his uh, balance. Yeah. 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 So do you want me to do that? I already did it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Because so I just noticed that today that he only paid the registration fee, and I was like, wait a minute. So he's having trouble with the link. Why? I don't know. I don't know, but Tia was having trouble with the link. Really? I did it today. Yeah. But then you said other people are not having trouble with the link. So No, I went on it through the website, um, through the town website, and I went on it through my own, as a user, just as a normal user, and didn't have any issues at all. I did it this morning. So when he mm -hmm. said the, the thing was down, I was like, oh, what are you talking about? I just did mine this morning. He told me that yesterday, and I said, well, I'm, I'm not sure why. I, I are think they trying to do it on a phone versus a computer or a tablet? I, I wonder if that's the case or if they're using a browser that's not. Because, I, I mean, mine, I had mine, and I wanted to hit, I was going to hit submit on Sunday, and I decided mm -hmm. to hold off until I paid yesterday morning and then I went back and and it had erased I had been too long and erased all I my just, information. I just couldn't help him because he, he wasn't even sure really what the issue was even so I mean at nine right? Mm -hmm. Which is fine. Like, well it's just fun it, it's I guess is there a way for him to pay by a credit card if that's what he wants to do if that's why he was doing it online you know I guess that's the thing. Is he going to be able to pay on time? Like but how do we so he's got an account, <coughs> so he, I think he has the ability, I'm not 100% sure, but he can, he can go on there and pay, I think. I don't know, though. That's a good question. Nobody ever has asked me that. Because I think that's going to be his problem. Like, now he has to pay cash when before he was going to do payments, or he was going to just put on his credit card. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, he seemed to, I don't know. He seemed to be all right with whatever. 
discussion we had today. Again, okay. okay. So I'm just gonna. Okay. You know what I mean? I've already kind of backed Well, let's not be problematic if there's not a need to be problematic. Yeah, I just. Uh, but so I'm not. Nobody's reporting to me. Sure. Sure. With the link, so he was the only one. one. The only thing I could assume that was the browser or something. I don't remember. That, that should be know. the date of birth, yes. That's pretty funny. Yeah, that is not it. I know that much. So, yeah, I think I see the one you're talking about, the last one there. Yeah, yeah that's, that's not, not his date of birth, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, jeez. He would only be two years old. He doesn't qualify for <laughs> camp. <laughs> I don't know what year he was born, but... Uh, it's not that. I should, but it is. Oh. Oh, yeah, that was definitely mine. <laughs> Better go in and fix that, huh? I would assume that's yeah. an 06. Yeah, that's me. And that would be my assumption then. It's okay. I it's probably had my numerous entries that I just didn't want to do. The driver's license yeah. sent to me yeah. in yeah. New York, and they had me born 1927. Instead of Vietnam, the first week, November 25th. Okay, so what is this? What? It's a difference. <laughs> it was my fault. Oh, and I said, no, it's not because you have it's like the 27, no, the 27 months. And then it's not 27. <laughs> so, um, on team camp, I'm just looking, um, uh, we're probably jumping around here, but um, one of them's got pre-camp. It looks yeah. like all eight weeks. Yeah. So that means they're just going to hang out. Is there room in pre-camp? Yeah, this, this room. Um, we had one last they wanted. We can't. I don't know. You know. Do they have another? they have another person? They, they do. They have a younger child in camp for all the time, and they're I assume doing the camp too. So it's, it's probably a just drop off sort of thing. And who is this? Oh, okay. Oh uh, yeah. So the third one down. Yeah. So that'll go into our budget, right? Or is that going into camp for all the budget? Doesn't matter. <laughs> I. <laughs> if you guys have it in our budget. No, we're fine. Don't so worry. Whatever. Don't stress. Yeah, yeah we're good. Yeah, yeah there's just I'm driving three, three, three trips. Right <laughs> <laughs> Only three trips. <laughs> okay. I'm going to make a public service announcement in sixth grade math tomorrow. Good. All right. So what? I'm going to go back across uh, the hall for a little bit, and then I will come back and I wish I had any guys. Thank you. Oh, you know what? Um, you did it last and year. And Denise might trade with me. She's feeling like she's really bad. If you need right. me, feel free to grab me. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to unlock this door. So and didn't you tell me that, um, so why does he, I'm sorry. So, um. Why did you tell me that? The Kate, the, uh, one that you were just questioning. No. Um, I don't know if they're going to do it huh. because, um. He's doing a ton of things. Oh, he, that's like the way he camps and all this kind of you know, wrestling stuff. stuff. Yeah. So. so the one that you just asked me about with the, the pre, I'm looking at the other child sibling. And they, it doesn't look like she put, um, no? I would check in with the family and just see if that's correct. Wait, wait. So they had the teen sign up for free camp, but not the other one? She might have done it backwards when she was entering. Do you know where they live? Or they look like around the school people? Uh, around the corner here. So walk, couldn't walk. So the teen can walk to camp. So yeah, my assumption would be. Mm -hmm. I would check in with that yeah. family. Yeah, it's, it's I, I would bet that they were. Uh, <laughs> one more thing to do, man. <laughs> I, honestly. <laughs> Okay. So I'm going to so put that down with a star D to check in with family regarding this issue. I don't even know where to put it right now. I've got so many no. pieces of paper here. <laughs> <laughs> a new piece of paper? Oh. <laughs> Thank you. So, okay. counselors versus registrations versus grade groups, is that where we are on our agenda? Do you do you have a breakdown for us, Steve? I for do. Ages? Yes. Give me one second. You're awesome. <coughs>
Yep. But it's it's outdated now that we've got four. Right. right. Do you want me to open those just to? Oh, uh, they're open. But you can look at uh, I mean, do you yeah, want to look at them? Yeah, look at them. And mine, I will tell you, is a K through three, or our first through three. Okay, I'm going to give you the, I'm going to give you what I have based on what I pulled at 2 o'clock today, okay? So, and this is to your, your question. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe. So our ratio is, so grades one through three is a six to one ratio. All right. Okay. Grades four and five, it's an eight to one ratio. Grades six through eight is a ten to one ratio. Okay. Um, so ideally on field trips, it changes slightly. So, yeah, well, that's helpful with the team camp if they only have 12. What's the ratio for that? Because they only need a director. They won't even need it. Right. Yeah. We, we, when we kept 15, we hire a counselor. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. we stay at the top. Okay, so you guys are kind of a over and over almost a team. Oh, here's yes, they have a second director. director. So, we're under this, so we're under the same umbrella. This so we're under the um, recreation umbrella. We've got camp rolling. We've got team camp. Okay. So we do. We might as well do it here. Yeah. Um, one thing I can say is team for one and two. They're busy right now, so I'll save you. So that folder I gave you? Yep. Is, so the pan handbook's in there, the stock mm -hmm. manual's in there. So I'm going to strongly just suggest you page for that. Sure. So and in, in there, you'll, you'll know, okay, well, what are we doing about snacks? How are we charging for snacks? Okay. Um, uh, the ratios are in there. All right. Um, everything that a parent needs to know about camp is in there. So it right. yeah, helps you too. <laughs> Oh, that's the one that comes through. This is really the first year that have a staff manual. So I, um, I, um, like like I like it because it's the very easy to know. Everything from the to and then they will send us a check. So I like that it has in there this year that um, no cell phones are allowed. You can hear your cell phone, but you shouldn't be using it. Use it much more. Because we're like finding year after year that we're getting complaints about that. So. Yep. Um, just things like that. So that would be my suggestion to you. If you don't have any questions about it, um, anything about policy, or you just count it Okay. And we'll help you sort it out and get an answer. Okay. <coughs> Obviously, our silver at the church, so we're trying to work things out. So having somebody like you on board is going to help us too, because we're, we're learning new things about how things should be done. So, so I don't know how much of a conversation we'll have with you about it, but. You know, do what you feel is necessary, and then we'll um, in incorporate what I have to discuss with you. I think that's great that we have the staff manual. So is that something where my my availability is pretty much three? <coughs> I think there's a staff meeting with them that goes over the manual. So everything's discussed prior to camp. Well, that so would be part of training and orientation. And on the last page, uh, they have to sign up with Charity. So they understand what they've just read and what they've been trained. And okay. So you might even, um, we just need to set up that date. Once I get the email, then I can send out an email of mm -hmm. um, the date and time. You can do that before camp starts. Well, was the idea of Sunday um, setup and training orientation? Either. Yeah. Uh, I think there's one person that already said that they might not be able to be there. So. Um, you already made money. all of these copies <laughs> and they're ready to go? Well, I made the copies just for us to page flip the doesn't mean Okay, good. Because we have to I only got through the first three or four pages. Yeah, I just, I don't want to. That's not on your issue. I was not going to bring it up here. I'd rather go <coughs> to you but or you. So I just, I feel like it needs to get out soon. Yeah, but I also feel like we adopted this like there. And I feel like she's um, pretty on top of her. Can I actually take one of those? Yeah, because my can. printer went down, so I could not print a copy for I, myself. I uh, made I had a couple. I made but some. It really it doesn't. I told you. I, I have one. I printed one out. I don't. Okay, just page flip it, please. Um, so I incorporated some dates changes, which were um, just some, we caught some spelling errors. Yeah, that's, that's what I caught. Redundancies I caught. and things that I missed. Um, so, yeah, I caught one or two on the top, on the first page. But I I'm not so much concerned about that stuff. So. 
But here's what I was going to say to you, Melanie, is I, as soon as we can get this out of draft form, which I hope is going to be before I go on vacation on Saturday or Saturday, <laughs> I will work on it tomorrow. Um, I should send you the um, hard copy of it, and you can send it off to your staff and say, you need to take a look at this, review it, and we're going to have training orientation. But to your question, Sunday the 23rd was half set up, half training orientation, right? I, I didn't know that. Okay. I thought we just were doing setup. I did not post. Okay. I, I did not send out though any okay. time. I just put like the save the date type thing. Right. right? That's how you right. understood it. So, so yeah, there was one of the things you Sunday, and then it kind of a, a blanket of like Melanie will get another training. They'll reach out to you for that rather, um, do that as soon as possible. But I feel like if we give them the option to go, it's like a, no. Go because like this is the date, this is the time. It, so I think it's built into the budget. The Sunday, get paid for it. and I think the training right. orientation. So it should be out of our hands. I think we yeah. like you say, like right compulsory. Right. 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 Not optional. Right. right. I mean, and I can handle the manual portion of this. Like, do some team building type of exercises. And what you would want the coworkers to do, like that type of thing. My only question to you that, I, and I, I sent you that text today, yep. so I, I don't know if you had a chance to say anything to Caroline. No, I was going to ask her. But so all, if Melanie, when you look through this and, and the rest of us can, if you go kind of to the back, towards the back, um, there's, so if you go to page 20, if everybody looks on page 20, I'll give you an example, but they, they kind of refer to it all over the place here. Um, there's a there's a lot so that we'll just look at pa page 20 but you're going to see it on a, a ton of pages like it says camper roles and expectations mm -hmm. and then you'll see the first thing is adhere to the quote unquote code of conduct so you know i saw that like page after page after page it says adhere to the code of conduct explain code of conduct well um, you know what actually kelly I do we have that i just you know what? I thought that um, is not part of the camper packet, the parent handbook. It's the last page that we sign in the current. No, that's, that's the disciplinary. No, that's the behavior thing. You know what, Kelly? Um, I think that she had. A, come to think of it, I think she had a separate attachment for that. Really? Yeah. I'm so gonna have to look at that. So that that was that was my like big question mark out of this packet was like okay what is this code of conduct when you asked me that i took it as a totally different thing but oh. so because they, they 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 refer to it on uh -huh. you know under snack shack under bathroom stuff under uh, i'm gonna have to look to see if it's in here i'm also wondering i have just gotten this past like the first couple pages wondering if you want an appendix with like the um incident like accident mm -hmm. sheet on the back or anything like that so that or is that just something you want melody for you like you're the only one that's going to fill out the accident report or do you want like the staff to fill it out well i think the accident reports whoever was there at the scene could fill out the accident report and you so probably would sign it, right? On the bottom, like, yeah. just to make sure they didn't leave out the child's date of birth or whatever it was. Um, but one thing I wanted to know while I, before I lose my train of thought was I was asking just the staff that was there, that there was only two of them from the previous year, what they liked and didn't like yep. about previous years. So they said they, they didn't like it, that it was just up in the air, the schedule. So yeah. sometimes that doesn't work with kids. So I was thinking maybe we could get a schedule. So where 9 to 10 is this, 10 to 11, there's no, like, discrepancy this is you know we're all on the same page and it's, it keeps the ball moving he's like sometimes it works out sometimes winging it didn't work out yeah. so you know maybe that could be something that we you know what i mean include it doesn't have to be in here but just as a as a, a schedule so everyone knows what we're doing and we gave one out to the parents i'm not sure if you got to see it um in the past it was part of the registration packet this was what you were doing on this day and i think that we're going to cover that right Keith? i hope to 
So hopefully we already have a couple things scheduled for you so that you and then you can schedule in things around that that you want to schedule. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah. I was thinking kind of like a time chunk too like, because you know kind of like I go hands type of thing like if they're you know they know oh we're all doing a community event we're all doing kickball on the lawn at 9 to 10 and then you know 10 to 11 we're all getting refreshments and going down a little bit and then we're moving on to if it's a home day not so like a field trip day. Dee created one a couple of Great. Years ago. ago, it's in here. I think only day one's in there. It's um, it, it's a one sheer. I mean, on day one, excuse me. Week one, week one. <laughs> uh, knowing that it has to be changed, uh, but I gave you an example. Um, this one's the team because we're now Monday and Friday field trips instead of Tuesday and Friday. It should be in there. I got a team kit. Oh, it's. It's this very first paper right oh, here. I was wondering if color color. Um, oh, just kidding. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. So, like, the field trip's going to move to Monday, and we have other activities we'll fill in with you in a little while. Oh, great. General staff policies and rules of conduct. If that makes sense. But is that something like you're looking forward to give to the staff well, to I'm, follow? Well, I was thinking because it was just it was just their opinion. Of, it wasn't structured at all as far as like they seem to. What maybe someone he was saying was, was this year last year? It wasn't followed. Is what he was trying to tell me. It could have been. Okay. So maybe what we had saying? lots of ideas expressed right. to us. Uh, I'm not sure that they were all executed. Where do you want okay. this? I know. So maybe it, yeah, it just sounded like you wanted right here or right here. <laughs> so that you know, it does make the so day go by. And I think for campers, I'm a young camper parent. It's good to, for me to know, like if I'm going to be late or pulling them out what they're going to be missing, and it's good for one. Mom, one. you're pulling me out. And my <laughs> kid wants to know what he's going to be doing every day. Oh, Just like at school, you know, Mondays you have gym, Tuesday you have art, whatever. Okay. So I, I just need to back up. Um, so Kelly's uh, noticed the code of conduct. It's actually rules of conduct, which are in here. So it's not code of conduct, it's rules. So that needs to be changed. So rules of but conduct are on. Four. So it's probably easier to change the word rules of conduct to code of conduct yeah. than to go through and change all the codes of conduct to rule of conduct. Mm -hmm. in, in, for me, that's what would be. Yeah. <laughs> so let me take something else. So needs to be. Do you want sticky? <coughs> nope. Mm -hmm. Thank you, and actually, on that rules of conduct, I you know you talk, do we have do we have our counselors carry? It? Did everybody carry a fanny pack of first aid? I don't remember. Some um, some of them had the bags, the um, sanitation but yeah, most of them did. And okay. I and, and if fact, I'm sure I have everything in my car. <laughs> like the the totes of binders, I've got all the t-shirts in my car, and I've got um, first aid. Walkie-talkies. You'll take your phone. You need to get a phone. Oh, actually, you know what? I need to get a truck card for that. Um, but it doesn't have all that stuff. It needs to transition over to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's that. So we need to get. Can we get back to yeah. um, where the ratios? Yeah. yeah. Let's get back to ratios. Uh, where uh, we have them. You announced what they are for on campus, and you said they were slightly different. Or field trip, but you yeah. can give us the numbers. So it's in the parent handbook, anyways. But so for field trips, ideally we want to grade five to one ratio. Grades four and five are six to one, and six through eight stays the same at ten to one. Now that, that's ideally. That's what we would like to see. So what I haven't done is pulled counts by week yet. Um, it's, that's one of those things that just, it's really tedious. It's too but bad that's not easier to do. You would think with this computer stuff it would be easier. No, I, it's, it's just this system. So of all the things I had to do today, that was the last thing I just did not get to. 
but I did pull week one anyways and just did a quick count without printing anything off. Yep. It looked like week one that although we have um, it didn't make sense. I'm almost afraid to say it. Um, it looked like we had 25 kids coming week one, but that's it was off. There was something that's about the filtering. See, that seems it's very unusual. So in the years past, that. week one was our one of our highest numbers because that's because typically no one has left for vacation yet. So it's usually week one where everything is new. It's usually like jam packed with people. So I have to. I mean, this is like here's one side, and then here's the other side. I mean, this is all camper information by the week and. Because they, I mean, it's the same old story with Sports Engine because they clump it all together. You can't, it's really hard to clump it all these people on the Yeah. But, okay, so with that said, right? So this, if I just use grades one through three for an example, we have 37 kids. Yeah. Uh, grades one through three right now. And this so is just total. We're not breaking down by week, right? This is total. Yeah. Okay. Right? Yeah. And it doesn't include the four we have over there, and it doesn't include um, serious. Yeah, so yeah, just tell us what, yeah, what you got. So, okay, so grades one through three, we have a total of 37 campers right now. So that would be six counselors for grades one through three. Yep. With the ratio. Yep. Okay. So grades uh, four and five, mm -hmm. that's 21 kids, mm -hmm. which would be 2.5 counselors. Mm -hmm. In grades six through eight, so that's 15 kids. No, is that? That's two counselors. Is that in Camp Rally, 15 of 6 or 8? Or is that the? That's wrong. Yeah. Because there was, I think, one eighth grader. Uh, that's yeah, the yeah. Like, So how many counselors <laughs> you needed Well, to? see, I don't know because it depends on the count, too. True. Right? Per True. Week. True. So it, it, I have to really dive into that. Are you OK doing it yourself? Do you need help? So that's a really great segue into what I was going to say <laughs> next. Is I'm on vacation and I can sit there and I can do counts, but I can also give you guys my sign off. So instead of creating new sign offs for you guys, because I've seen you having a lot of trouble with sports engine getting them out with that, I am going to give you guys my login information. And you guys can go in there anytime you want and just pretend you're me. You have admin rights to everything. You can look at the same things I look at. You can do the same things I do. You can pull reports at your leisure. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you'd like to do. You should all have it just in case you need backups. Um, and what is your friend is when you log on, in the top right-hand corner, it says admin panel, admin control panel. You click that, you can do whatever you want to do. You can change registrations, you can close out registrations, you can do whatever you want. It's your friend. And you can pull reports, which is what I constantly do. Okay, I'm probably not going to be pulling reports and printing them off like you, but you don't have to, you <laughs> can save them. Um, but this will be a lifesaver. <laughs> so for you, um, if I can get the handle, I think what I really need to do is call Sports Engine and just say, what is the best way to filter on this clump of information that's here? Like, and then I can pass that along to you guys. So if you need to know who's coming, we want to number for them. We can we do that for you. Mm -hmm. My other question is, is when it comes up, to do budgeting. Mm -hmm. Do we want to look at another program? Because uh, we were, who, what is the lady in, oh yeah, what's her name? Heather. Heather does myrec.com, which is a different program. And I had experience with myrec, with my parents' hometown in Vermont, they use myrec too for registration and all of their summer coordinating. So I've had a couple of experiences with my record that have been good from a from my standpoint and I don't know if thinking in the future another program might be better. What I worry about is yes that would be ideal. We'd have to probably get a grant for it or um, yeah. grant. 
<laughs> to last thing, so grant is your new name. Um, yeah, I mean, ideally, it would it would be great because it, it would definitely be user friendly, more so than what this. This is too complicated for what we need. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna pull. So, anyways, what what I'm saying about ratios is that it all depends on your counts for pre care, post care, and how many kids you're having per week. So your staffing is going to depend on that. So we, we need to quickly probably figure out where we're at now. Right. Yeah. But if we looked at numbers as a whole, so six, eight and a half, nine, ten. So ten counselors based on every single kid coming. And we have that if we use the director and the assistant yes, director. Yes, we do. We have that. But we've always made right. Right, one of them up. Right? Did we, what's going to be the role for the assistant? The assistant? Council too? Is that how we had it last year? Supposedly. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so if everyone comes, say every day, which never happens, but if we need 10, how many are you sure that as far as we return to everything? Well, the other thing we've done in the past is those, I don't know, D, if you've polled how many have registered for all camp versus by the week. It's in here. I can see it says whole. So if they say the whole summer, yep, that's when you know that they're there whole summer. It just doesn't say it on here, whole summer versus not. Right. Um, so, like, what we've done in the past is the ones that are whole summer, we've sent out letters because, or an email. It's it's cheaper to do Sorry. five mm. weeks, even if you're going to be gone for two, it's cheaper to do the whole summer than to do by the week. So we say, okay, what weeks are you send it for whole summer? What weeks are you not going to be here? Here's what I'll say about that. So do, do we have many people respond besides myself? It wasn't so much, it, no, it was the response, but it was also the that. value of the information we got back based on that. So all that work that Joey put into trying to figure that out and everybody running around like chickens with a head off. What we found out is that there were very few kids that weren't going to be there anyways. So yeah. they always have the option to change their mind. I guess it was the amount I'm thinking of like so we had we had eighty kids registered for week one and Jody's like, oh my God, we gotta find out how many kids there might be less. There might have been seventy five. Right. <laughs> you know, so it wasn't a big the good thing is with Difference. teenagers, they usually want to go home. Like once you've showed up to work, technically we have to pay for two hours, so we might as well keep them for two hours. But if, most of the time, they'll go home if, if you give them an option. Like put your name in a hat. Who wants to go home? And we can save some money. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. Okay, so I just. Weekly option. So you'll find in those binders. Um, again, you'll have to sit down and probably yeah. just peer through that box. But there's everything from accident reports to timesheets. A lot of information from last year. You can just reference it if you need it. It's a bunch of stuff. Is that all in your card now, or is that okay? Great. So I can get that from you. Yes, please. All right. Do I have anything should at my I, house? Should I just wait on the phone or should <laughs> I take the phone? Um, you're going to need a track phone card and I don't want to be responsible for that. So. She said you could do it online. Well, so we'll, we'll get, get it for online. you. Okay. Because we will use funds through the town and get it paid for so you don't have to spend that much. That's what it sounds like we're agreeing to. Okay. So I just tried to filter based on the first week and it's a shambles. It just doesn't make sense. So I've had so we're gonna have to put just more time into this as well to try and figure that out. Yeah, so that's tell me the four kids find out for the first week. So, anyways, um, well, we 
are looking at meeting 10 staff. Right? And if we can get the number from them, maybe we can call this company and ask them exactly say, if we can't figure it out, we need to know the numbers for this. That's why we're getting those Well, we're not. That's it's great. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we use it because it's great. Uh, uh, but if you go into here, there's all sorts of contact information. You can even chat online, which I do frequently in some at work. Yeah. So I'm always like chatting on the side to try to get things resolved. Um, so you can do that too. Do you know this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They can be to our Yeah. 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 Um, okay, so that's where we are with ratios. So we need to pull some good information here um, to truly get a sense of where we are. <coughs> so we're going to have to go out to schedule based on what we're getting here. So do we want to lay out any roles? Who's doing what so we do not process? Doing efforts, or so that goes hand in hand with um, meet the counselor night okay. next week, uh, whatever day that is. But um, so, in my mind, you should already know who's assigned to what age group because you're meeting the counselor. <laughs> well, you could be in any of these people, so you're gonna want to get that situated. She might be, she's currently involved in the same. So we kind of have an idea of the returning staff, right? So we know yeah. Brighton should be. Um, Brighton would like to just sign the younger kid up. Okay. Jordan, I'm not sure where Jordan was comfortable. Kelly, do you Mm-mm. You don't. It is harder to get younger, so that's good that there's one for younger. That's I usually think she likes the younger kids. Should be on the my email. I don't know. Yeah, we need that. Yeah, we need to know who's here. Mm -hmm. Somebody actually told me they couldn't make me the counselor night, so now I'm trying to remember that. I think it was TJ. Did he help tell you that? I think he goes by TJ Thomas. Yeah, he did. Yeah, but so he works he another job. He works at. Um, yeah, heard. So I think he did send me that out today. Um, so you wouldn't have the employee that day, but we could get it to Sunday if he goes to that. Saturday, Sunday, the book. And Caroline did say, well, he's already, TJ's already made a date to come in and see her to get his paperwork completed. So he could get it then. Um, so, um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six out of 11 staff for sure that will have, um, returned paperwork or gotten in contact with her. Um, and then there are <coughs> four that I know of that are... Um, 
still have not returned information. And that includes the team camp. So there's one I don't know about. Well, the assistant director, did she definitely? Yes. Samantha and you um, and Jordan, her paperwork's already in. And then Thomas made a appointment. Michael Cruz returned his intent letter. I don't know if his paperwork's in. I'm texting my niece right now. Yeah. <laughs> Cara Anderson, her, she's not, she doesn't have her paperwork returned. Um, bright and early, we're waiting on Shannon and I'm surprised Ariana. that he, he didn't. Wait, Ariana didn't either? No, she said that she has an appointment to come in. Oh, okay. Is it, Ariana has an appointment to come in? I think that's what she said. Okay. I know that Thomas, TJ did. Okay. So and she already did do the CPR first date, so that's a good sign. And so did Brighton, so that's a good sign, too. And, and Ariana and Mike, so. And Brighton, Cara, Sam, and Jordan. Sam Mitchell, the male Sam. Uh, or all the attorney <laughs> counselors, so they only have to complete one or two forms. The rest of them are new, and we have to do a complete packet, okay. if that helps you. Yeah, well, I the only paperwork that I hadn't done was the, um, that we missed was the background check, so I, I'm assuming when she went, when I emailed her back, that she's getting back at all done, so all their background checks get done before two weeks. So, Kelly, you are, I put you down to email staff to know if everybody will be at the Meet the Counselor Night and um, <coughs> the employee packet to be returned by. Do we have a date? We said by the 19th, right? That's the, yeah, the Meet the Counselor Night's Wednesday. So, so wait, so we're giving out this when? No, the, the Sharon, Shannon, if she hasn't gotten her paperwork in by, six, by uh, meet uh, the counselor uh, night. Oh, okay. If that makes sense? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I must have. Tell me I'm in a fog. <laughs> I just texted Ian to see if he was with Lori, but he's not. Otherwise, I would have had him get on it. They are, they're employment package, not the name. Okay, if that makes sense. Okay, all right. I'm actually texting Shannon right now, so I'm gonna see what I do. To the to you know the phone number. I do. Oh, you are texting. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Sam, just yeah, you are. Yeah. <laughs> and if I have all their emails in that group email, that's great. Uh -huh. I was forgetting about that, so I can also now mass shoot that. Yeah. Okay. So week one, I just didn't look at manual count. Okay. Um, so grades one through three, we have it. We have around approximately thirty-four kids. And okay. one more because one will be there. The grades one through three, so thirty-five. Okay. Let's just say okay. Um, grades four and five is eighteen kids around there. Grades six through eight is fourteen. Right around there. <laughs> Grades one through three, 35. Mm -hmm. Grades four, five, what? Four and five is uh, 12, 18. And six through eight was how many? Uh, 14. So with that said, so let's just say grades one through three. So what is six into six? 36 would be six. So you need the six counselors for that grade um, cluster. So four and five was 18 kids. So that's an eight to one. So I'm going to be getting away with two counselors. 2.5. 2. 2.25. 2. Yeah. <laughs> Same maybe two, I guess. But keeping in mind. Why would we need six for the grades one? Because they each get six kids. Uh, it's a six to one ratio. Each staff person gets six kids to one. It's weird just because we, we have third graders, one teacher with all children. 
Yeah, yeah I know. So I know. Like <laughs> yeah, we, so we um, were a pretty big, when we took this over, we were a pretty big on safety. Yeah. So we tried to adopt the same counts that some oh, of the other. That's great. I'm just envisioning yeah. my day at there's school. Also <laughs> the <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. wouldn't that be nice? Part time. So she should probably know that, right? Do you know who that is? I know who the student is. And I know who the parent is. But I don't know if I Sorry. can share that. What are we talking about? You cannot probably share it on video. Oh, no, not right. No. I mean, I probably can't at all. She'd have to, oh, would have to go through them. Okay. Go through special ed. Oh, well, that's a good point, though. We will need to know who's for special needs kids because that changes. Mm -hmm. The parents on the forms, when we, um, when you go in to sports center, there's a special section that, like, any special notes you want to give us. So that's the parent's opportunity to tell you, like, my kid has a behavior plan or my kid has sensory needs, my kid has dietary needs or health needs and stuff like that. So, the, yeah. so that would be that's very... Okay. So when you... Um, so change our numbers. Let me show you this. So when you... So this is where you actually pull people into registration. This is where you pull reports, okay? Um, so here's all your options right here. Um, emergent medical contact information, um, extra data. In here, no. Things in here. These are all the things that you can pull off. So right here, so before you have any allergies, you need to be aware of. So if you click that box, it will give you a report on all kids and allergies. Oh, very um, so you can, again, um, pull reports of anything. Dosage amount. Um, mm -hmm. If you need to take, um, a list of emergency numbers with you if you're on field trips, you can put that list on before you have the list. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Do you think that is kind of So fun. you've got all sorts of information. Do you, you think we're going to need to, um, um, the thing I'm worried about is cool. look at that person like yeah. allergies yeah. and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. They yeah. should all be responsible enough to carry their own stuff. No, no, I have a friend right next to me. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay, good. Yeah. In my, I think, um, and then when they drop off their kid that day, we need the packet prescribed box yeah. of, you know, non expired at the event yeah. to be able to administer them. Or do we, are we going to allow them to drop off if they come? I'm busy at Edward, I don't have it. Well, we really can't accept your kid because you don't have your epic bed and he could get sent by a bee right after you. So that's that's completely up to you. There is a policy in there about medications. Um, so you want to just refresh yourself on what the parent handbook says about medications and how to handle that. They should all be held in the office somewhere. Um, again, this is up to you. We've done this before. Should, yeah, definitely have the epic beds. Um, and then, like I said, unfortunately, they had to be used before. There's a, couple, there's a couple of kids with allergies, but I don't see an overwhelming amount of kids with any with lots of medical issues. Do we have anyone with diabetes issue? Um, it wasn't out of town or that had I don't know. I would have to look. Um, that out of towner, that out of towner, her sister is signed up for teen for just two weeks, so maybe that might be what they're. I know last year so they here. went to the special thing. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So there's like some of these things. I just mm -hmm. did a quick report. And, um, this one's allergic to yeah. cats. I found that shell fish and these cat reviews for cats. So you're going to have to put all the evidence. And it was definitely pretty good. Yeah. I didn't yeah. Yeah. put all the information that was that one. He's 29. Yeah. So this is what we love. Oh, great. Yeah. I can just print that off and I know what allergies are. Right you can print off anything you want on this. You can, oh, that's great. I mean, it's, that's the thing about an abundance of information here. I mean, everything is captured. Anything you want. Wow. <laughs> it's just what we so struggle here. with is and the I'm, weeks. I'm jumping the gun. Because they clump it. I'm just <laughs> <assisted>. <laughs> But you can use the copyright school. Yeah. It's just, just mm -hmm. more like mm -hmm. newsletters right. printed, you know, right. like for right. everything. But for like, something like that, um, or a, like, Parent wants to know what their kid is buying. That <coughs> the, the snack bar. We can photocopy that, yeah. or copy a receipt for the towns. So you have a copy. Of and I'm glad to know 
How many so I'm going to. Yes. What's that? Is the the finances I would give to you, but I don't know anything about the snack bar. Oh. It's not a big deal. So you would, that's one of the things you would sit with Caroline on. She's going to okay. give you a cash box to have. Um, I think she requires that it comes back every day, right? I don't know. No. I think it's weekly. Mm -hmm. But you talk to Caroline, the town's administrative okay. assistant, yeah. and she helps you deal with the okay. cash box okay. weekly okay. and the oh, snack okay. shop. Okay. That makes it easier. And she'll help you with the time yeah. she got rich in here. Um, I think you can when I put them in my bag. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so you want this paper? Again, in the parent number, we see that we offer yes, just like a certain things. Um, we offer the water, we do a lot of freeze pops, that are very <coughs> popular, popular for us. Yeah. Um, and But that's all donated items, so we'll have to make sure that you have a donation for the 23rd to be able to set up. Yeah. Uh, the one thing you should know about this year is we're changing the way we do things as far as, um, like, if it's a uh, cash account, so parents may hand you a check uh, for, like, $25 or something like that. And so you, you'll have to have a card, which is what they did last year, and you'll see it in the box, um, just to keep, keep track of the account now, which makes it a little difficult when somebody's spending 25 cents at a time. Mm -hmm. So you might want to have maybe two counselors. One person does money and does the card, and one person runs the snacks or whatever. However you feel is going to work for you. Um, but it is can't cash. Um, and it says right in the handbook that there's no refunds at the end of it. Um, unless it was a dollar amount, I don't know. Was when it under 10? Something like that. It was under 10 that yeah. we weren't giving any. So um, they, have, they might inquire with you, how much is my kid on my account? <laughs> So you have to photocopy all the And that's what I mean if they want a photocopy of that. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure <coughs> I can get you a password to be on the family cards. Yep. Are we doing that? Family cards? I wonder if I regularly know it for yep. not to be individual. No, to be on so our So I changed that yeah. handbook. It is either individual or family. Either. How well, I'm sure it's everything on wrong. So like Christopher, so my son will, will be there and I'll just call him. Twenty dollars, just you know, we'll go through that in two days. But I'll hand you a couple of twenty, and you'll put it in the cash box, and you'll have a card created for him. And then you guys just do that. Put your hands in the teas, and if you have a different way that you want to do it, then great. I'll probably come up with something. What would be really nice is if we had POS system. Would that be nice? Right. You could just do like a even on a tablet, you can do like something, you know, accounting right there. Um, but we're not that fancy. Goes. I just heard from the counselor from the question. She, she, yes, she, she just got back to me. I'm so sorry. My phone is backing up. I had to get a new one. I will definitely do that ASAP. Thank you so much. Okay. So, so then the next question will be, okay. so should, should we be approaching, like you said, the fire, but I'm just going back to, should we be asking them for an evening? We had talked about that before, CPR. Do you want to offer to see if you can make the one at the hospital that's already it's 55 bucks? It's 55 bucks. And it could be full, I don't know. I only want to say the Especially if I didn't get an email. Sorry, I can't make that one because I have other obligations just for me. She did, but she told me she had to work, but it was pretty late on that. Um, Sam Mitchell couldn't make it because he graduated Friday night and they were going all night. I mean, I, we figured he wasn't going to make it. Yeah, they weren't away. They were, uh, they were awake all night. Yeah. He, he graduated in March, but yeah. I didn't even know. Oh my God, he was probably sitting like right in front of Nick or something. Yep. And I didn't even notice. Yep. Uh, yeah, so he guys, so they did. Into the, one yeah. of the divisions. Yeah, yeah. After this yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't remember what that I know. I want to say. Yeah, I, want, I don't know. Yeah. So, I don't know. so, um. So we knew he wasn't going to make it, and then Jordan was said, just told me she was going to be out of town. But so Sam Bush should have partial right. certification. He has one of them, and I don't remember. I think he has first aid. I don't remember what it is. I think he has first aid, so I think he might just be at CPR. So, that's, so would the fire department do CPR for three? Who would we need to 
Who would, who, who is that contact? Denise Knowles is that contact? You want to put that on the to-do list? <laughs> would, would they meet an evening? Um, well, I think we ask, honestly, I think we say to the fire chief, is there an evening that you'd be willing to do right. this? Yes. And then, and then you tell these guys, you have this option to do it, or you go find something that you will have to pay for. Yeah. I will say that, that the, fire de sorry, the fire department does meet on Monday nights. I don't know if they still do. They used to meet Mondays and Wednesdays. Yeah. Okay. So those would be good nights. They're already there. Okay. Okay. Let's, okay. Um, okay. Let's keep moving forward. So. Um, I know, I'm sorry, I'm just going to back up again for a minute. So what we're officially transitioning to is I'm going to have you start keeping track of the counts. Okay. Because you'll need it to stop them anyways. Yep. So you can set all your reports on, you know, the Yeah, so we're definitely transitioning that over to you. Um, we're, what else were we transitioning? Oh, the um, training and orientation and setup day. So we're officially going to let you manage that. Um, and that includes the manual. As soon as I can update the manual, I'll send it back over to you. Okay. So, is the 23rd a good day for you, Melanie? I mean, because what we need to do is figure out that day. Then we need to fill out a form for that day. And Caroline said Denise isn't signing any forms until the school board meeting on Thursday. So nothing Thursday. has been signed. So yes. nothing will be signed until Friday at the early. Well, that's fine. She wouldn't have an opportunity to, to figure that out with counselors anyway, right? I mean, the problem with setup day is, <coughs> you know, how how much earlier do you want to do that? What do we have to set up? We gotta get. Well, you want to make sure um, you've got your uh, your kitchenette set up. You want to make sure all your snacks are ready, your snack signs. You want to make sure that your registration table. And I'm sure you're gonna be assigning. Counselors to whatever you didn't decide them to like sign and sign out. Or oh, we had then, tents for that kind of stuff too, didn't we? We had some tents. Yep, you had pop ups. <coughs> you need to get hung up. Uh, thank you, banners. Uh, whatever, whatever you need to do. Um, we'll see you the only problem I have is that I have so many counselors that I don't know where any of our stuff is. I yeah. didn't need it. I need to have that I don't know what it is. We need to get in places what areas we're authorized, where areas we're not. Um, I spoke to yep. Rich today, the principal, and he will be on vacation the week of camp. That's his first vacation. But next week, if you have time that you could go up, call, call him now and right. make an appointment with him, he would walk you through the building and show you everything. And so give her a pop? She gets a yeah, they both well can have a pop. Perfect. So is it going, question about the pop, <coughs> is it, it's going to the two, yeah, the five camp rallies. Yeah, but to the director and yeah. assistant director. And then Patty, the, Patty, Patty uh, the teen camp director, could borrow yours or whatever. But and she then probably uh, the custodial staff, oh, to get in over there. Yeah, okay. Fox. <laughs> Not keys. <Okay. laughs> I don't Electronic thingy. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Key card. And we should yeah. let her know, um, we should let you know what we have available to us. Which is <coughs> which amazing. Um, we got a lady to court. Is it that they have the day of the floor? Oh, they bounce already. Wait, hold on. Are we going to be? Well, we'll talk to the teachers. To see about they call the teachers. The teachers. Um, but he, they would really prefer that we use kindergarten as much as possible until we can't use kindergarten anymore. So that's later. Laura, you're going to save it for later on the agenda, right? I know, we should just ask you. Sorry. <laughs> well, oh, go ahead. I don't know where we are. Sorry. So, sorry, where's the, um, what's the guy's number, Rich? So it's it's the principal. Oh, okay, just call it school. So, 2351, I had to call it earlier. So, call the school and schedule that for this week. So, to see him next week, because he's, next okay. week he'll be here, the following week he won't be. So Melanie, can I ask you when you're done with work? Sorry, yes, I'm done Friday. Friday. This oh, Friday you're done? I thought, okay. this week, I was like, I better get on that. No, we're okay. done, well, staff, kids are done Friday. Okay. Staff will be there Monday. He will be there all next week. Oh, okay. But the following week, he won't be there. Okay. He's on vacation. So, okay. So, so done Friday. That's, that's awesome. Right. 
So and you're going to be gone. And you need to get together with Sam. Yeah, I need um, to know the information for the, anything we need to buy. Like, first I want to know what we have. And then we then we can get the money to go buy. All you that and me stuff. will be going to Dick's. Yay! <laughs> um, so we so as far as in popular yeah, as far as the snacks set up, do we have any um, gift cards that we've been given or nothing we has come in as of now. I emailed um, Kathy today for the church and the police department. Um, and Did sent that to the Legion. I, I have an email going for the Legion, but I was going to bring that up at the facility. And what they did last year, just had a About if we can't have the schools, can we have the Legion? Mm -hmm. And use that as a donation. So I was going to get these snacks every week if we can. If we can, if we can keep it as simple as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Give them. My husband just sent me here. They're, they're already, they're already um, bringing their lunch. I don't have yeah. a contact. Okay. So okay. I'm going to suggest some. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Because I already initiated <laughs> that. Okay. okay. All right. So I'm on. Um, and we also do Pizza Wednesdays. So we'll have to talk to you about that too. And that works. I have a list of businesses that do pizza, but we've been in the past. Yeah, I think certain times for student sites too, not like in all day. Because that is going to tie up a lot of stuff. So, back to the day, it's going to be super nice. You mean snack time? Yeah. Okay, so last year they did it in the afternoon. Um, we did ask them to do it twice. Right. Because yeah. um, parents were asking more for yeah. more. Yeah. Um, so, doing it yeah, that's reasonable. mid morning or in the afternoon, but that's it. Yeah. Um, and again, just keep it keep it simple. Definitely do a few spots if you need water. Um, they did purchase a lot of water, but we had it just in case. Mm -hmm. um, what are you looking for? Gatorade. Um, we have not done Gatorade. Mm -hmm. And one year we got a lot of water donations, and then kids brought water bottles. And they have the refillable water station in the gym and the, and the, and the hallway, so the kids refilled it instead of buying water. So last year we sold out of our donations. I think we start basic, is what I think. Um, just that basic. So Are there chairs in here for you? No. Um, granola bars, fruit snacks have gone in the past, like gummies. <laughs> Another thing that is done is um, chips and cookies. Like uh, snack packs of Oreos. Well, there's a chair over here that Caroline has, but I don't know if she's um, coming back to it. Oh, she is? Okay. And then the um, bags of chips or. Um, Tex Mix or something like that have all seemed to have been. Things are going to change, but keep it like a regular one. So we're going to have bags of chips or something. Then you're going to charge like maybe 70 cents or something like that just to do that or something. Stick with it. Yeah, stick with it. So we can make one sign, one sign. Yeah, just stick with it. Yeah, just stick with it. You can change it up. I mean, that's totally under your discretion. Maybe just to keep it simple for yourself. But yeah, it's going to be up to you. Hello. Hi. How are you? So, are we done with Meet the Counselor Night? Do we need to talk about it anymore? Well, I don't know because um, it's scheduled for, I can't remember what day, Tuesday or Wednesday. 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 And a save the date needs to go out to the parents, but do we have enough counselors to actually have it right now? That would be my question. The only one I heard from that can't be there was TJ. And we did say that Kelly's going to email the staff who have not turned in their forms. She's already been in contact with two or three of them tonight mm -hmm. um, to make sure that their forms are turned in because we don't want the parents to meet the counselors and then not right. actually. Okay, so that was it. So Sam, I mean not Sam, I'm sorry, Melanie. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like we would be ready to do it next Wednesday? It doesn't sound like it. Okay. We can always go back to the Sunday thing, like the 23rd. Yeah, I feel like all. there's like meeting, honestly, counselors when we don't know like what their group is. Like, oh, I stuck you with this age group, but look, now looking at you, you're really meant for older kids. You're having a really hard time with this. Well, maybe um, younger kids. It's kind of get to know who people are. I think it's, um, the reason why I think we did it too is because we wanted them to become familiar with 
the parents need counseling, right? So maybe if you wanted to do it like the first week or so, or have it set up in the morning where you know that that counselor that's going to be involved with your child with the child is going to be the parent somehow, or maybe we should just leave that up to you to decide. I feel like it's more important if we have any autistic children. That's like you know, do we have any? I mean, no. Okay. So are we saying? So the the only thing, you know, that we the meet the counselor night could just be your basic generic, like, hey, here's, here's our staff. Everybody. Yeah, I like that. Um, as opposed to this is the group you're going to be in because you know what, you're not going to have everybody from from camp show up that night. There'll be some people that are definitely like want to be there, want to, you know, but then there'll be people like me that really don't care. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, they'll figure it out when they get there. Right. Right. Um, so, I, I mean, I think if you, if we propose it that way, like, hey, come meet our staff. Um, and. Yeah. So keep, it, keep it that way and then meet everyone and get a feel for like and feel, unless you yeah. want to use Wednesday night because we have the, the time and we only have one counselor and we can't be there, but unless you want to use that night as like a staff night, go over oh, yeah, it. That's actually a good idea. And then, um, oh, oh, that's even... That's you a, switch Sunday to... A, or, or, flip them. or you could kind of, yeah, flip them. That way we know who's really committed by the night. No. Then we're not. And you just meet the counselor at setup day, which is what we did last year, which was fine. Okay. Anybody else have anything? <laughs> so well, I would give yourself as much flexibility for as long as possible. <laughs> I would say okay. if we could go back further, it would be better because we're still in the process of ordering t-shirts. And so we do not have uh, anything to designate the newer staff that, hey, I'm a staff person. I'm not just somebody here mingling. All right. So we're thinking. So what I'm going to do for you, because right now I'm cre in sports engine, I'm creating the actual group. So you're going to have a camp rally group and you're going to have a team group. Okay. But what you can do with that group is send out a message to everybody. So when you think you're ready and you think you have a time for when this meet the staff will happen, all you need to do is just send a message out to the parents via that route. Okay. Okay. Just one click, send a message, and it's gone. Okay. And so I'm going to transition that over to you. Then. Okay. Okay. So Perfect. six nineteen will be staff training at the library because we have that time, right? And has, has everyone said that they're going to that one? There's only one There's counselor one. that's not coming. Okay. And you confirm that with the library? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that would be six to seven that night. Something to start. And then that way, if those people who will need to make appointments to get the paperwork done haven't done it. Then they can be reminded. Or we'll know if they're really that interested. Right. I also have a concern because we only had five people show up for the first aid CPR training. So two weren't going to come, that we knew of. Yep. And one didn't show up. And I don't know who did the math yep. or list. Yep. But what happens to those people if they're not CPR certified? We, first aid? Yeah. we discussed that already. Yep. And, 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 um, well, actually, while you're here, we had a to do, to do list for you. Wondering, <laughs> I know. Wondering mm -hmm. if we won't, if um, Melanie said that she, when she talked to the fire, they were very open to conducting another one. I don't, I don't know if well, we have to go, the chief wasn't there though. We have to go through the well, chief. Well, no, I don't, I don't know. Like they just seemed very nice to, like they seemed so friendly to help us with like setting up first aid kits and yep and stuff like that. And I'm not saying that they would definitely do it. Oh no, 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 no. But they, they, they just. They seemed really great, but I, at the same token, I feel like the people that that didn't come, like us giving them another opportunity for free, then I don't know if that's taking it off of the fire department. If it well, I, I, I'm, I'm sure that they, they would do it. it. Yeah. But if it gets blown off again, they're probably going to do that's it for us again. Well, that's okay. my that's my that's point. Of, you know, I don't know. We knew two weren't going to go. For yeah. You had, and yeah. we knew that. But I don't know who the third one, third one was. So, yeah. 
So um, one of the things that we had discussed was that Lori said that the hospital does one and just put it on them that they're going to do it at the hospital or otherwise at their own expense. Which if they don't it. do it, we can put some kind of warning in their personnel file and start documenting with non-compliance and just otherwise manage the fact that some people don't have a certain level of some kind of emergency capability and, and, and so sure. how are you compensating for that? Okay. The only thing I I did not relay and this is why I kind of feel sort of guilty is that I did not say if you cannot be here Saturday morning then the next course is up to you to find and pay for and you know mm -hmm. I, I didn't lay it out like mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. but it um, is in the job description that it's required mm -hmm. <coughs> right it was on the yeah yeah um okay so i'll get i'll find out <coughs> who, who was in attendance so then you can then determine who, who the third person mm -hmm. was anyway and then the other two had already informed us they weren't going to be able to go i so, can tell you exactly who what who so Sam was at graduation, so he was the one. I feel kind of, I feel mostly bad about him because, you know, he was like, I'm going to be up all night, so there's no way I can attend that. But we knew that, we knew yeah. that. But yeah. we went for yeah. that weekend anyway and told him that we could get a majority So I got an email from the third person who has said that she has had been having phone issues, mm -hmm. and she just got a new phone, and so she responded to my, my text, like, right away. Right away. Okay. Um, I did not. I told her that she needs to make a point of view. I told her she needs to turn in her form. What I didn't tell her was first, you know, this whole first aid CPR thing. So, um, so what we were thinking was, if there's a day, if there's a day that is convenient for the fire department. Well, they're there on Monday night. Right. Whether or not um, Sean is, because he travels a lot. That's the problem. He was the instructor. So that's all. Was the instructor, right, right. Melanie? Sean was the instructor, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, his wife did most of it. Oh, Tia did? Yes. Oh, then that's another option. And she then. was so good. Yeah. So, so possibly. I don't know. I think I'm in the yard. She's think got a lot of certifications. She just can't. Yeah. yeah. That's not a problem. Yeah. So, yeah. so these are the three that, that need to come in. Um, okay. The third one needs both. The other two, I believe, just need CPR. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let me get in touch with Mark and let him talk to Sean about it. If he's willing to do another sec session yeah. for these three yeah. before we're at the start. Right. And I'll get back to you guys. And yeah, and if, you know, what I would say is if they have a date that is convenient for them, that they're willing to do. Or a night. Not or a night. Not a weekend. Or right. Something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah a night. Yeah. I would totally say that we just throw it to these three. Yep. If you can be here this night, tell me. Yep. If not, you need to you get it on your own right and there's okay. and laurie already found out there's a wentworth douglas class on the 26th which isn't is that right? a walk-in kind of thing yet we you don't have, know i believe you have to register and it's 55 dollars oh it's a cost to it. yeah. yeah so that would be the so i i personally would feel better about that that okay but here's your cost but mm -hmm. you know that's but if they can't if all three can't yeah. make that i think I don't, I don't think we ask them to do it for one or two you know what i mean like yeah. Let me talk to well, the other thing is that uh, with enough notice, I wouldn't do it on a Saturday, but as long as it weren't on a Saturday, you can open it up to other town employees whose certification is expired. Mm -hmm. Because there are town employees who True. need True. to renew too. True. And that would make it worth more worthwhile for the fire. And we're yeah. not doing it on Monday. We're doing yeah. it in August or uh, September because of uh, switching our day. Yeah. They they were all ready to come on the seventeenth. Is this unique teachers doing it? Yeah. yeah. The school. Would our employees be able to attend that? No, no, they're not doing it now. No, in the fall. I don't. Uh -oh. You'd have to contact Rich because there's a fee. But we uh -huh. th we did it before with Rec. Rec did it with us. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I don't see why not. It would just be an additional fee if they can't do something with the fire department, which I we could. We could do something with the fire department. It's just about waiting until it's yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Good. All right. All right. Um, okay, so I will get back to you guys. So are we done with Meet the Counselor Night? Yep. Is there anything else we need for the staff manual? We are reviewing it, getting you edits, and she's going to Yeah, good David's and I've already incorporated So, this. And you got one from Kelly. Review. Yep. And I'll fix that. Edits to the ASAP, right? Mm-hmm. 
and then you'll have it um, and hopefully get it um, to, to counselors for training. Yeah. Okay. And then we went over numbers, so for whole staff, whole summer, which we're not going to worry about tonight. Pre and post care, do we need to talk about that? I, I, I want to talk about it right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, C and J, donation for fundraising and grants. Thank you. That would be me. Um, so, grants went out to C and J, Optima Bank. Um, well, Optima Bank, C and J, and who was Cumberland? Cumberland's went in. Um, Optima Bank, we will know by June fifteenth is when they make their announcement. Cumberland, I'm not sure. And C and J, I'm waiting to hear back. I gave them the option of option one, seven fifty just for shirts. Option two, seven fifty for movies. So you can do both, and you can do one, and if you do both, it's the same level that you donated last year um, for that. Um, some of them only respond if we're getting the award. They don't tell us if we're not going to get it. Um, so my question is, I was working on today, I was cutting and pasting some of the information from the Optima Bank into one for Eastern Bank. Do you, we want to pursue it, or do we just want to be good at this point with grants, um, since we're so close to our starting? What do we think? What um, does the grant say about turnaround time? Well, they prefer 60 days notice, so at this point, we're cutting it close. It would have to be in and we'd have to go through the select board Monday night. And I, I mean, I can send it to all of you Monday, this week. <laughs> well, so if they're requesting, you know, to my mind, you're probably not going to get the funds in time to use it mm -hmm. before camp gets up. Yeah. I would say I wouldn't go forward it, but what I would recommend, and I would be happy to work with you on this as well, is let's start them earlier. Let's start them after Create the program is over and start working on them, you know, October on yeah. instead of when you're your busiest, which is now, you know, and, and then you can start with the purpose. You could buy the products or whatever for REC at that time, you know, and so then you know what you got that and then you have to budget this and you, you know, I'm just making a recommendation. That, this had, is your busiest. that had been the intent. Mm -hmm. We all got snowballed with stuff oh, and yes, yeah. our um, sponsorship letter that goes as material did not get done until the end of April, beginning of May. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then the grant timeline got all pushed back because we were working on making sure we had our sponsorship letter in order before we did the grants. But yes, it is on our calendar to do it <coughs> first quarter. What I think is that this is our third year into it. And I think that we were doing better this year than we did last year in terms of like things, the way we want to construct our letters. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I think it's going to be better for us going forward. Oh, I'm sure. I'm just saying, yeah. it, just don't push it into your, to your most busiest oh, yeah. time. And if you can do it earlier, the better. You know. Yeah. And that's it. I will help you if you need help too. Yeah. Um, so my question was, do we want to pursue further grants, or do we just want to I go on like Hannaford's usually target some of the grocery stores. You walk in, and within a week or two, you get your donations, and that's where we get our things from Snapchat yeah. from. Yeah. So, so I, I think we, we will pursue right um, pursue um, donations now instead of breaks. Is what we're shifting yes. to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. like your yeah. donation stores where you can get your products, in and then that's your products. Products. Yeah. Okay, that's what my my questions. The police department gave me a letter last week, and I think I scanned it and sent it to people, and maybe not. But the police department is looking to do a family movie, family movie over the summer, yeah. and they would like to know if we would like to set up like some snacks or water, just be there to 
have a table and we sell stuff. I thought he wanted everything to be free. He said the movie was free. I, I, I think you should read it again. I think it, the intention was that everything was going to be free. I, I, I got it for a family day. And I, th I thought that's what it said. The intention was for it to be all free. So I think regardless, it's something that I think we should partner. Uh, so my question do. was, do we want to partner with the police department? Do they have a license to have a movie? That's what I was going to ask. Did they pay for that? <laughs> and can we hook on? <laughs> oh, no, really? We need to talk to Bobby. Okay. <laughs> we have a new so if we I join in and we're nice now, we get the movie later. <laughs> I say yes. I say we, we do what we can. Um, you, you said you sent that, right? Is this the police department or the Benevolent Association? The Benevolent Association. The Benevolent Association, but they still have to have a license. You're right. And that, that would cost, you can't even do just one night. Not, you? Well, you can, but it's not worthwhile to spend $300 to show a movie. Right. But yeah. maybe their intention is to do it. More, many more many. often, seeing how much, how many people come and stuff, or whatever. But I would guess they're not aware. But I'll talk about it. So I think that's the date offhand. It was last, last week. <laughs> no, I meant do you remember what date? They, they had. <laughs> they didn't put a date in there. Okay. Yeah, they were just looking for different the, organizations to. They were looking for commitments and, yeah. from sure. groups. Yeah. So I wanted to know if we're interested. And we need to clarify whether or whether not, not it, you can make money on. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I thought it was supposed to be intent was all at no cost. I'm looking for a little I know I have it. I can So this it is a, an open to the public general movie night? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Where? I don't know. Where? Uh, that was up to, they're, they're hosting it. I don't know where, but they invited other groups to come help. I do believe it. I can't imagine where they're. Okay, I'll find out. Can we have their screen when we're done? <laughs> <laughs> well, we would do it on a smart board. They will issue you a laptop. So oh. It's a smart board. We're supposed to talk about the facility, too. Yep, I'm, I'm trying to give you a heads up on that one. Okay, so can we collaborate with an online do you want to skip down to um, facilities? I need to circle back for t-shirts. You know, yeah, you know, I have yeah and then I have to talk about busing, but I can, I, I'll just hand this out to you guys, the bus schedule, and you can let me know. Didn't, isn't it on the back of this? That's, that's not updated. I don't okay. think that's wrong. So this one's right. That is. Okay. So. So I wrote, I wrote a letter to the school board. I am on the agenda to uh, discuss uh, space needs of the school Thursday night. So if anybody wants to come in. Yeah. 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 Yep, nope, that's a good yeah. I'm um, working right now, but if I can I have move an answer, somebody, I will. Know. I but. can tell you that the gym floor is being done July 29th. Okay, that's off the okay, table then. Going to be a classroom because because um, the gym because nobody can go on it after it's been done. Nope. So the gym is not an option then. Okay, so we didn't know that. But I, I thought for sure they weren't going to get it. I was hoping that I was too. for sure that, that they were running really late. I was late. hoping too. Yeah. Yep. So we will no longer be able to be in use the, the school as of August first. Their facilities are not going to be taken. That's why we're going to the school. The school at all. There'll be no room room inside. The inside. Teachers' room and the bathrooms. In the hall. In the hallway. That's but there it. will be no classroom and no gym. Facility. So it's three weeks. Mm -hmm. three That's weeks. why it's the last three going. weeks of the program. Three weeks out of eight. Yeah. Um, do we have another access to use bathrooms? Yeah, the yes. bathrooms. So you, have the are still you have the access. Yeah. Yeah. So, Denise, I don't know if I can be there. So, the booting us out of the gym and they're going to be booting us out of the well, we kind of knew about the gym, though, because that was yeah, forewarned. Yeah. This, uh, this is a big surprise about um, ending it August 1st. That was not part of yes. the plan until recently. Right. So that's um, why we're right to the school board. I sort of did a little research on tent rentals today. So an 80-person tent 
that now I, I, I all I have is a weekend, you mm -hmm. know, financial is an 80 person tent for the weekend is $210 mm -hmm. um, Taylor rental. Yeah. A 50 person tent for the weekend is $190. So, because they're in town, maybe, you know, like, so you've got a long period of time, but maybe you could do it, you know, like, once a week for two days on, like, the hottest days or the rainiest days or something of that week if you had to, and see if they might work with you to bring the price down or something if you had to. Yeah. Also, Salma Perry said that she has a 20 foot by yeah. 30 foot tent, but it doesn't have sides. Right. So she's offered it to us. Well, we need it. So this doesn't have sides either. Have sides. I did contact okay. another, uh, there's another company in Kittery that mm -hmm. I was looking at called Marshall. Yeah, yes, so I, I got on their website too. But they don't have any prices on the website. Right. But the other thing is you're in annoying. wedding season right now. Right. And outdoor weddings and stuff. And for you to have it for three weeks and not take it down on the weekends, right. and those things aren't easy, easy to put up. Uh, yeah. the ones Which is why maybe you can use it a little bit. It's not going to really solve the problem, I think, for the whole three week period. But you know. well, you have $200 of dicks, too. Is there like a small canopy? Well, that's not too bad. Well, the problem is that you want to, just, it's just more for like climate, weather, and, right. and you know, the heat and, and rain. Rain um, is really the biggest. Or maybe yeah. for budget and give you a classroom. Which I don't think so. Especially kindergarten because it's a brand new teacher. So and what they have two weeks after the program ends. I know. I don't know. I don't I don't really gonna understand. Do that. Because some of that furniture is Becky's. So they need to get in there and it just the experience that they had last year putting a new teacher in a room, that's where he's coming from. Yeah. So but there's no other classroom in the entire building available? No, because the main building, because he, he told me today that he and Dick have been trying to figure this out, and they talked about the Zen Den, but the Zen Den's on the other side of the building, and the floors are being put in. It's just like a, you know, effect a, of badness. But yeah. it wasn't, and it's not a surprise, though. That, and that's not a problem. Yeah. And they're putting in parking on that side of the building, as side the Zen Den is on, the trash compactor side. So he's concerned about the floor, and the parking and kids walking to the playground. So can they do, this, do the floor like right? Like can they rearrange the summer maintenance schedule so that the floor and the main no, part of the building? No, they're having a floor put in. Right. Tiles. I don't. Like, I, like that sure. happens first, so that by the time August first comes around, know. that part has happened already. Like I guess that would be the conversation I would have. With it the would board be my that. belief that the that he's taking when the contractor's going to do it. Because yeah. I I understand there's been a lot of it's been hard finding time for contractors to come in. Because they have lots of work now, so they don't really care. So that. What, what about like Miss Horton's room, right? That's in the I, I don't know. I don't know. It just seems. You'll be there Thursday night. I'm sure. Yeah. Um, what did somebody was supposed to check in at Garrison Place? Did that happen? Uh, he's not coming up. So I don't know. I checked in Legion. I checked in with the mill. Um, with the landlord there and he was like, he got right back to me and said, we don't have that kind of space. Um, I have a contact now for the Legion. I actually talked to the president of the Legion, but he doesn't do facilities. So oh, nice. I just yes. got a contact for that. So I'll okay. put, I'll put, Patrick. Carol, 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 Cheryl, 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 Carol. Yeah, I yeah. just, I just got her yeah. e email and yeah. everything. I mean, the, the president of the Legion, he was, I don't know, he, he was kind of like, that space isn't really used, you know, during the during the day or... What, what are you talking so about, the big hall? The big hall. Like, he seemed, I, you know, I don't know... Because he, you could also use ball field. Yeah, right? If, it it really know, would be a perfect scenario. Hill. I don't yeah. know if you've been there. Um, and I think I drove by it when I went to the... It has a flag mural on the side. I'm just thinking if it's lightning or thunder is the only concern. Well, they have an indoor an indoor like banquet oh, hall that we can cool. use. So it would be the banquet hall plus the softball field park across the street. Oh yeah, I'm not talking about just the, yeah, no, they're talking about seeing if we can use the hall. Yeah. Right. When it, so right. it's a right. space, yeah. open space well, thing. the rain is not, I mean, it's hot and our kids and they but the lightning and thunder and we have to ride law and get them under cover. And my, the other thing to be aware of is there is water down there that you're close to. And I know I've lost my son down there when he was two or three, I freaked out, he went into the river. 
So just uh, yeah. they, you <laughs> just <laughs> beware. Yeah. Have your staff beware. Yeah. The perimeter yeah. does go along the river. Other director take those from the So that was two directors. Ago. <laughs> 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 From what I understand. Um, what else did I have on here? Did I answer all my questions? So update clubs and printer use. We need the and form. the printer. You can. I mean, yes, before the twenty third, we need to fill out that form. Sure. What building form? To use the building on the twenty third to set up. Oh, stuff. oh, because I haven't signed the other one yet until we have this meeting on Thursday. Because it's not on the original form. Oh, okay. But I, I'm. I don't know if we can just add it to the budget. Yeah, what, that would be, yeah, well, you know, because that one says the 24th, we went the 23rd. So. Okay, I'll, I'll just change it to the 23rd. Okay. Um, you just make sure that it's available. I did. Oh, I oh, talked to him oh, today. Okay. He gave me the new form. Oh, okay. Is it all filled out? No. Then I'll just change the day. Because I'm not going to put my name on something and then go down there and complain and then put right. you sign for it, you know. Right. So mm -hmm. I thought I would do it after I have the meeting. But the copier, he said, was fine. He just doesn't want, like, newsletters for the entire, mm -hmm. you know, wreck. Um, the fobs are fine. And he had told us before our laptop is fine. If we can't change it. And I do get hurt. I mean, the passwords change monthly, but I cannot imagine them not allowing me to give them the stack. They're letting us use the laptop? Yeah, they said that before. That's on that form that you have. Yeah. That we can use a laptop if we get so that if we get the permission mm -hmm. to use the movies, we can project them up. Well, not project. We can send them to the smart board, engine, or wherever it can be in the classroom. We can use one in the classroom if we want. Now that that happens, so we don't look like schedule a meeting with them. Would that be <laughs> no. like, I'm sorry. When I schedule a meeting with them, would that be like giving me the laptop? Probably not at the laptop until after school. Is that? I don't know. So well, school is out then. Right. So yeah. he, I will remind him. I don't know if you have to go through our computer guy, Tom LaBelle, but um, Rich had told us before that we, you could have a laptop for that stuff. Okay. <laughs> um, anything else for graduate school facilities? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, t-shirts. I, I have been in contact with the vendor. The t-shirt price went up 25 cents per shirt. <laughs> so they will be six seventy-five <laughs> per shirt this year. Um, and that's for all the shirts. So. Um, T-shirt price is six seventy-five. Thank you. And we'll let you, we'll let you know our next I meeting. I put a purchase. <laughs> um, the select board agreed to a purchase order last night yep. for up to eight hundred and fifty dollars yep. because last year the tank tops they ordered were eight fifty. Well, that's silly. They're 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 off. Off. Yeah. Why are they more than the T-shirt? So I'm so sorry we did not include you, but you are going to get the same shirts as the campers. Just larger sizes. Okay. They will say Camp Raleigh on the front. Same, same color and everything. Same color and everything. And the so brand new t-shirts. Brand new t-shirts um, for the staff. And on the back, it will say staff in all cap letters and be in green. It's a blue shirt with Is green. Is that required to wear them every day or just in the future? Every, every day. day. And each staff member will get three. Okay. Now, we had problems with this last year. Yeah, so, so every day. Yeah, you need to make sure that is like one of the things that you yeah. pound. Mm -hmm. that's, in the, that's in the staff manual anyway. So okay. as you flip through the staff manual, you'll know but you don't okay. what they roll their sleeves off. No, I don't cut their sleeves off or whatever. And they oh, just, the, it was oh, no, no, that's just the only thing I was just thinking yeah. was like, and like it's, a it's appropriate. It's going to save us money because last year they went with the tank tops and they Girls did white ink versus photo. green and blue <laughs> ink that they did on the Camp Raleigh shirts. So now they can do all of them at once and they don't have yeah. to wash the screen so it's going to be faster. So there's the turnaround time. Two weeks is what they're saying so we need to oh, get we lucky. We need to get them in ASAP. He's already got the what I submitted to the select board which was 102. Do you need to get her side? Uh, no. I was waiting on. Who do you mean? Brighton, Kara, Shale. Do it. Do they have that on there? And so, oh 
Hold on. I know we keep skipping around because we're. I know we're trying to wrap this up. I've got the box full of shirts out there. Do you? How do we want to handle this? Because if we need to be separated and assign a camper, like the camper's name needs to go on. So who wants to be responsible for that? I can put the names on shirts. I say we give it to her. Last year, what Brittany did was she had a list of all the kids of different sizes, and then she just put out lists. Which you can get off the sports engine. That shows you just do the name and their size. And so I'm going to leave that to you. Okay. Um, so I'll give you the box. But in that box is also like old tie-dye shirts and stuff. So, so the, the plain white ones and the tie-dye shirts are team camp. Okay. So yours are just blue. Okay. Um, um, quick kind of question. Are yeah. these t-shirts, are they are they unisex or also. what are they? The unisex. But this, this one we're adding to because she's still doing it in order. Like, so these are going to be the same exact shirts. Yep. As what oh, yeah. So they're, they're ones from last year. They're over inventory, but okay. we're going to start pulling them and assigning them okay. um, to kids. Maybe they can get those the first day. Okay. Okay, okay hold on. If we so have we'll them ready to go or whatever. Um, my question is, Dave wanted to know, um, are we ordering enough of the two most heavily requested size, which are youth medium and youth large? In the past two years, we've ordered 42 of the youth medium, the two previous years, and we've ordered um, 21 of the youth large. We had 20 left over this year of the medium, and I'm not sure how many of the youth large, but we, I only put an <coughs> order in for 30. Do we need, do you guys feel we should order more? Here's a list as of 2 p.m. today of shirts. So that can start you out. So who's, this is all camp um, Wait. Just camp yeah, this is all just camp rally. So here's your size. And here's your kids. Okay. So you can start pulling based on that. Um, anyways. Shannon would like a small. Okay, I've got three. <laughs> so your, your question was, um, sorry. So do we need to order more? Do we want to up the mediums and the large for the youth? Can we, it does it still fit within the, um, that's, I was in talking to Caroline today. The price of the shirts is six seventy five. We have up until eight fifty. Um, so I think you have to do the math and stay within your approved amount of the purchase order. If you need to place a new order, you place a new order, which probably wouldn't rise to the level of the purchase order. So have you figured out, based on the purchase order, how many t-shirts that is for Camper Only and how many for Teen? There is none for Teen. Teen is zero because we have 30 already in inventory. So Raleigh and staff. So, so it would be 36 for staff. I have three smalls at the moment, which Shannon just spoke for. One's a small, bright, mm -hmm. one's medium. Okay, that's good. <coughs> so the smalls I did would be yep. Shannon, <laughs> and then I have I did. What's the purchase order? Eight fifty. Yes, it that was the highest we can go, um, but it was based on thirty six staff shirts. And it was six twenty five a piece. Six fifty. Six seventy five. So that's uh, hundred and twenty six shirts. But. <laughs> I, <laughs> so we don't need under twice the shirts, right? No, but the thing is, is if we add to the order 10 or 12 more yep. of the mediums, that'll bring us up to 120. It'll bring us up to 120 shirts. Yes. Okay. So I don't know. Can we do that, or do I need to put a separate? I know. Do I just order? It's 120. Sh no, we, we're within our PO if we do 120 shirts. Or just do it as a separate order. If you do it as a, so you've got approved what you have approved, so go forth and do what you have approved. Whatever you need to do above and beyond that, does it rise to a level of another purchase order? Then just do it. Yeah. Just so, but you just said 120 shirts at 675 a piece? But when I gave to, when I gave it to the select board last night, yeah. I was basing it off $7 a shirt because um, well, I don't think they care about how much the shirt is. They really no. care about the purchase order. Right. No. It's you know it, it's kind of yeah. both, but the bigger deal is is the money is the amount of money. So right now I have thirty six staff shirts on order. Um, you said bright and wanted a medium. Yeah. Um, which means that Kara 
and Ari. He's got this. <laughs> so I, I, okay. And then this is the only one that hasn't responded. Um, <laughs> that's <laughs> funny. Huh? Well, what I was going to say is we have 76 mm -hmm. right now at Camp Raleigh shirts on order. Okay. That's what the purchase order went in for. Caroline is saying if we want to order another 10 or 20 more, it's not going to go above $200 where we need a new purchase order. So order the 76 that we already have. Mm -hmm. And then we can decide if we want to put in more. Okay. Does that make sense? Sure, it makes sense. Okay. I'm mostly checked out right now. Just want to tell you that. Okay. <laughs> so you texted. It's great. They're gonna get back. Yeah, I, I did not hear a thing that you just said. So just like numbers. Yeah. Numbers good. just gone. Yeah. I'm oh like, I got it figured out. <laughs> good, thank you. Um. <laughs> Team camp, when are we meeting with Patty to do purchase orders because we need to do those ASAP? Or do you want me to go ahead and put in purchase orders for the first week or two? I, um, what's our schedule for the first week? Um, the first week is take flight and I've already reached out to them and they want to push us from Wednesday to Thursday but I need to get back in touch with them. So yeah, if that can't happen. happen. Yeah. So, if, so purchase orders would be approved on a Monday. I'm not writing a check for whatever that is until the following Monday. So, it, you know, it, it takes some time. So it's best to, you know, where you're going. It doesn't matter what day it is. For what, for what that, well, for what you know where you're going, you can like fill those out and get them done so that they're ready. And I can write checks for them when invoices come in. And then at least you're only left with the things you're not sure about. So we could do purchase orders for Camp Raleigh for Lake Coco Key mm -hmm. and take flight. And we already have all the um, summer um, park passes. Yeah. I, I say we do. I, I say we handle or try to handle right now the first two weeks. Okay. I, I think that's just because. I don't know. Patty's still working. Okay. Because I can get on that tomorrow, and I know what the price is for Coco Key, and we can get that. I'd like to know. I have your. I just want to know. Okay. Until we get you on that way. They said. I said. Are you available? Six twenty-six, and they said. Um, six twenty-seven works better for them. Yeah, so I'm just make sure I have not gotten that. That doesn't answer the question. Are you available the 26th or not? Okay, so here's the question that you need that you can ask them. Unless you want me to do it, I don't know how how full you are right now. But I don't. We can't do a Thursday. If we want to switch Monday with Wednesday, we can do that. So that that first Monday is your beach. Um, I'll I can call them tomorrow. Okay, just let me know if you. But because the other weird thing was the pricing of that one, yep. right? They, that was very high compared to what they told us last year. And last year they they wanted to know how we got that really low price. Yeah, help me, Caroline. Tax, tax. We're a nonprofit. There was something about nonprofit. Um, yeah. We're not nonprofit. We were a tax exempt. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. That's, they they acknowledged the tax exempt and they gave us a really good deal. I think because of that. So make sure if we talk to them tomorrow, they tell them that because I, I I could look it up for you, but I think those tickets last year were like thirty eight bucks. I remember you coming in. Yes. Yeah, it was great, but I think I think the whole day was like thirty eight bucks. But if they can't do Wednesday, ask them if they could do Monday instead. Yeah, but they did send me their waiver. So are okay. we, so Kelly, oh, you and I getting the waivers, so or is Patty yeah. getting the waivers to some of these places? Right. I forget about so those we waivers. What did we do uh, last year? Uh, oh, you know what? Now that we have access to Sports Engine, and we have the, we can get to the team campers, we can send them the waivers by email for the week mm -hmm. they're going. Right. Yeah, so like week one should only okay. waiver, that waiver should only go and to those kids. And now that you know which weeks we're driving, we need to send them the driving form okay. to that you're going to drive. Yeah. And it needs to be returned the first day of camp. Sure, yeah. 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 You have to be, yeah. Yeah. you might even want to. 
and I am driving the first day of camp. Oh, so. <laughs> we did it last night. Oh, good luck. I had a good time last night. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. Well, if they don't get them back, they can't go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you are sure that whatever you signed sent in last year, you know, you know your one year policy, if you think that one year policy is still in effect for whatever you're driving, then you're covered, but likely not since it was the same time last year. So, okay. so you Section four, you Let me know when you guys are done with the POs. Um, so, the PO, so PO's for the first two weeks. Um, so really, that would just be take flight, right? Take flight and um, and that's a waiver that people go online and do. Yep. Um, and Patty needs to keep track of these, so she yeah, knows who to turn I away. Go through and I'm leaving that up you. to you to tell no, Patty. Yeah, um, no, I, I have to meet with her. I just, um, just, just but do we want to go and ahead and put in Coco so Key, which is July? Yeah, they need to know by and then June. I like that. before camp like starts because they book a month in advance, which we give them. Um, and so we can tell you who signed up for it, so that's. It's I think it's the week it's after the game. Week five. Um, it's really good that you're aware of things like that, like that they need to know ahead. So, you know, yeah. you're not surprised. You, you have your reservations set up and you're not out of luck. But then you might as well do a purchase order if you know how many people are going. Maybe it's easier in writing. Like yeah, you're saying so right here. I got it. Just a 29? Yeah, we're going to have it. It's everything from email. Email. Yeah. schedules. It would be on uh, here. Which which is Coco Key for twenty right. So that's yeah. like August something. Yeah. We'll definitely No, so that's, that's the day we're going to the thirty first. Oh the uh, twenty ninth. Oh, is the day. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Well, okay. Well, I'll come with that. I know I talked to the other council. So the twenty ninth so would have been with that. Like it was there, but I don't really use it. So there's actually only one, two, three, four, five kids on that. So right now. So we're not even, we're not even doing a, we don't even have a group that wouldn't be a qualify for a group discount or anything. Right, they have to have 10 or more to be a group discount. Yeah. But we know how much the four hour pass is, and yeah. we might as well get it in yeah. to them. And then the other one, rock climbing, um, indoor scent, yeah. you think? We we went there before. The kids liked it, and I've got prices from him too. Yeah, I would say so. Close, we'll save you on that thing. Yeah, it doesn't. No. I actually no. I mean, I wasn't around then. I won't be around those those last two weeks. So that's why I won't. I can't drive those. Yeah. I was kind of hoping, <laughs> but I mean, the other thing was is that there's one out in Candy. Yeah. So do we? Just try to get the kids do the house. extra money for the bus and go to Canyon. Yeah. Is that the very last week, August 5th or 9th? Yeah. yeah. We only have four kids there. Does anybody have a minivan? You want to drive them? <laughs> we might get more people signed up, though. Yeah, I know. Where's, the, where's Mr. Avery? He joined us last year. Okay. Okay, we're back. Okay. So, email. Yes. We got this. Is Melanie so, completely overwhelmed? <laughs> um, <laughs> I work with, I guess, if you were a Disney chef, this can ask you. The, week, <laughs> the last week at Clamp, I believe, yeah. August, um, last Wednesday, week at Camp Raleigh? Or? Last week at Camp Raleigh, okay. Wednesday, August 14th, is a, um, you're going to be walking kids over to um, the local historical site. Colonel Wetpark House. Um, we oh, need to get it. Yes, oh, okay. they would prefer. I August believe. 14th, okay. I believe. Um, so that would be which week? The last week you said. Yes. August 14th, Wednesday, Stuart. You're saying we need permission to do all the more? No, it's already it? part of their packet, but okay. it should be on your radar that that is going. We need a head count. Okay. Of how many kids are going? Max of 60. Wednesday? Wednesday. Afternoon. And 
if we can get a head count and ages, they will plan appropriate activities. Okay. What if we had one sixty dollars? I need to talk to them. We got a grant for four hundred and fifty dollars that counts for sixty kids. Oh, here. So right here. I'll measure this so you know. So that is in there. Um, and then you guys already talked about the library, right? And that's not on a teen camp day. So the teen camp is going to be on his. Has Patty been in the fill out her paperwork at all? She dropped off her paperwork. Um, um, she didn't talk to you. Um, that would have been. She still needs to I just got something from my still. kid at school today that know? the summer no. reading program yeah. is starting I, the. I, I neglected to mention that. So what June, should she do about that? The last one to do? So you, can, if you go on a Tuesday, you might be able to sign the kids up right for summer reading that are going down there. And every time they go to the library with Camp Wally, they might be able to get a raffle ticket yes, for the price. So what day does that start for rec? I think it said June 29th, but I can send you an email. Um, and... <laughs> The other thing I need to talk about for activities is the Fisher Cats game. Oh, I'll ask you after. Um, not right now. The Fisher Cats game. We have 50 tickets reserved right now. The select board approved the 50 tickets. We need to know if we need to order more because they are selling fast, and I need to get more a permission. Maybe not. Let's we'll see permission from the select board to buy more. Of those 50 tickets for that's week right. four, right? Week so four, July, 10, we get 10. It, it will be July 17th. 10 of those tickets are 15. <coughs> and just 40 for camp. Right. That's 40 for camp. But how many of them are going to be for staff? Mm -hmm. Because staff doesn't pay for them. So, and you have to take that into account. So every six kids, so that you need at least um, five, four or five staff tickets. So that leaves you 35 tickets. And we don't know if there's any more kids. So if you reserve tickets, are you obligated to buy them? I remember that question. I don't remember that answer. Mm -hmm. um, we have until they want to know by Monday, okay. which is a month before um, the so game. week how many tickets four, um, Wednesday. So if you say you want 20 more tickets, yeah. you're going to pay for 20 more tickets. You can't reserve them and say, no, actually, we're just going to take 12 of that 20 extra. I don't know. I'll make sure that um, you know, I really get this stuff settled. So we can give them Wednesday. What do you say? We can give them, we can give them a call. All day. Like, okay. we so could give yeah. them a right. more exact number yes. later on, like, but they would they keep them there like, at the will call desk. Like, so you could reserve like 20 so more and then just call okay. them a week later and say we're dropping that down to 12. Yeah. And you're not paying for the extra eight that you're not yes. using. Yeah. So because how much, so how much did you need to, so uh, was your, you had to do 50%, right? Is this yeah. 10 kids? Yeah. Well, so it's 10 kids plus, plus Patty is 11. And the uh, council? That's the only. Yeah. So we actually yeah. have 39 tickets <laughs> <laughs> because we've got to count this teen counselor who's going with them, and then that would leave you like 30, 35 tickets. Okay. How okay. many? Just, um, how many uh, did you say he had that would be available right he, now? He didn't say. Okay. Um, but I did email him and reserve the 50, and Caroline has written a check because they need a check for 50 percent by next week okay um but if we want to add on mm -hmm. we could do that and they'll hold them at the will call desk and we pay so basically we can hold them but we pay for the actual number we're going to take when we get there with a check mm -hmm. so seven, 25 25 per ticket okay and d so that would be something while you guys are being the masters of sports engine, that's week four. If we could get a head count with the number of kids 
we yeah. can afford, that would be. So I almost have the group loaded up, which means I have to physically add each kid one vote. But once I get that done, I can send that and notice it's out to parents. Did you say that I'm telling you now, yeah. I want to sign my kid up so my kid can go to the game. What so. offer? Was it sent in an email? Snail mail, right? Snail. Mm -hmm. um, so Era. it was made in head count and you needed that by the 17th, right? Have you checked your envelopes lately? Because, and just this it's committee authorized me to go back to the select board to spend more money on tickets. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the sooner I get that notice out to the parents, the better. Who we have so far. So, yeah. I guess, um, um yeah. are you on vacation? Sorry. Do you want me to help you with anything? Well, I don't know if you can help me with this one, but, uh, Because my parents are coming into town tomorrow, so I have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I think that could be helpful. Okay. Um, so, need head count, and so I do. We need a motion for spending money, or just yes, for spending money. Should make that personal. Kara would like a medium. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to revise my. I was surprised by that. I should let you go small. I did. I did. I told you. Well, I'm on vacation, but I'll have my laptop with me. So, if you know anything, okay. 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 Yep. Didn't, you're not allowed to go on vacation the yeah, week before camp. Don't yeah. you know that? No, 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 no. You're not supposed to work <laughs> while you're on vacation. I do this every year. Where are you going? <laughs> Someplace fun? Uh, no, we have a, yes, but we have a time share up in um, Bartlett. Oh, nice. Yeah. Service is sketchy. So, I think okay, I was best. texting you last year. You were. And the year before. <laughs> <laughs> I remember being at a meeting at the library and texting her yeah, a couple years ago. So, um, yeah, that's going to be a bummer for me because I'm off next week and then you're off next week. So I'll be around. In but I'll be Except for Monday. Monday. So, um, yeah. I need, I guess, three motions. One, or them all grouped into one to go ahead and make purchase orders for the for additional tickets to the Fisher Cats, how many we'd like, for Keen Camp to put in a purchase order for take flight. We and to do on that, we? We're spending money. Can, can you, or, or you yeah. can just vote to delegate for Celia to put in purchase orders for field trips and just let her just take care of the idea that Celia is taking care of purchase orders for field trips. Great idea. And they're budgeted. So okay, I make a motion for I Celia to take care of purchase orders for field trips. A second. Aye. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> Any days? You guys have it. Celia saying nay. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. Is there a dollar amount that you guys want to put on that? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> You want a chair now? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any? Okay. Uh, did I already? I know. Uh, well, is there anything under programming that needs to be reviewed? Mm -hmm. No. Her and I are kind of doing the camp all on the side when you guys are talking. So I think we're going. Okay. Oh, uh, library. Yep. Where did we land on that? I forgot. Fifteen. Fifteen is no. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah. With in the, the stipulation. Morning. Okay. In the morning. You might just touch Tuesdays, Thursdays, Thursdays and Thursdays in the morning. And okay. Thursdays 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 Thursdays
We're not taking the whole group at a time. In the past, like we did it two years ago, like a group went for a half an hour and then they staggered the next group leaving 15 minutes later. So then you would. If they're giving us Tuesdays and Thursdays, we can even stagger it that way too. Like some groups on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's, maybe. that's great. And then you can account for walking time so they get like a half an hour there and then they turn around and walk back. And by the time the next group gets, like they're leaving on the next group. Okay. Yeah, so if you shoot me that on what times we're allowed to have it, we can, I can start scheduling what times, which groups can go. And you okay. reviewed the current schedule activities for, we did that for both the camps. State parks, teen camp says. So that, don't look at that. That's because somebody had corrections that they sent to me. I think it was you. <laughs> it was me. But I still haven't yelled because I still don't understand when you guys are going to put them and you're not. We're <laughs> always going to the pool with you. Always? Always. Every week? Yes. So there, there was a typo on the teen schedule that we put out for the last um, three weeks that July 12th was a Friday and a Monday. Yeah, I fixed, <laughs> I fixed it. Yeah. It, I don't think... It's just me I trying to get through things quickly. I don't think anybody... Um, I think everybody understood what it was. I oh, can't believe I didn't see it. I'm usually being big on typos. Um, so you're, you're going to the pool definitely every Friday with us? Yes. About Wednesday the 3rd? Yes. 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 Okay. Um, um, the 22nd, are you going to the state park with us Monday the 22nd, or are you doing something different? Yes, we have it at the state park. Okay. Um, I believe it was um, Monday the 22nd. Um, one of the state parks was White Lake. And the other one was Aliquoya. Do you know which what dates so that I can? White Lake was the last week for teen camp, so that would have been the fifth. I don't have my teen camp. And which and one, sorry, which one was that? Which state park? White Lake. White Lake on the fifth. And, just and Aliquoya. Um, uh, on the twenty second is know. what we. Of, of um, July, okay, so what we posted for Team Camp. And so we think we're going to double up with you guys on that. So if we could. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let me just do this real quick. All right. Okay. That works. Northwood is another state park um, that offers hiking, fishing, and boating. I don't know if they rent boats, but we can talk about whether we want to go there or not. Just so one. where is that? Northwood um, Meadows. State We've never park. done that before. Oh. And, but it's right down the street from Johnson's. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. So I figured maybe they go and they hike, and they can do mountain biking there too. They could go um, and do some fun stuff, and then they could go get ice cream at Johnson's and come back. So. I'm gonna see. I gotta contact <laughs> at Johnson's. So the last person that I last time we went there after hiking Mount Major, he was like, "Let me know when you're coming in here again." I'm so that could be some free, free VA spray. I'm going to send the schedule to Patty, too. So you can Patty see it And it needs to go off to this. So I'll do it tomorrow. And a rock climbing we discussed um, being um, endorsed in Dover. Which is sad that I can't drive because I hate spending money on a bus to go yeah. five miles down the road. With your... Yeah, Do you want to switch weeks? I'm thinking you've got seven kids on a bus for 78 people some weeks. Is that, do you think that would... Think it is what it is. Well. Okay. I mean, you could tell me we only need the small bus, but it's the same, same price, price, so yeah. whatever. Yeah. Okay. Because, I mean, I was over at Indoor Sand. He was wonderful to me. And Dora Rap one. Yeah, they're good. Uh, for the PK Raffle one. He's like, I'll give you a price. Thank you. Okay, so I'm done with busing. I don't need anything else. Okay. Um, I think that's it, unless we have anything to say about budget. Do you want one of No. Okay. <laughs> Is this the update? I don't know. No. Oh my god, I need my bed. Meeting adjourned. <laughs> 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 At, um,
9.40 p.m. 